have. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of sit down videos because of live updates. I really do feel like that lately. I'm trying my best to get back into like cleaning and daily lives. I do have a daily life that I need to edit. I probably put this video up first and then that one. So heads up, they'll be out of order. So, um, the reason I want to put this one out first is because it might explain why I didn't get that day in life out last week. We had a, if you've been on my Instagrams, you know, we had a family emergency. I haven't really talked about it on my Instagram stories, but I did say we did have a family emergency one day. That's why there wasn't going to be a video that day. And then I did say something about my husband being in the hospital. So... See if I can get my motions together because I have been. I'm, I'm hormonal. I'm pregnant. I mean, I'm hormonal, so I'm gonna cry regardless. But I think the past few months, while I've been crying a lot for the situation, because if you see my life update, you know you had my husband got help, heart failure, and all that fun stuff. And I'm just, I was just, I think why I was crying because I'm just like sad about the situation, but I was also frustrated with the situation because it's like what can we do i mean y'all just keep on saying change your diet be active okay he's done that no change take his mess done that um and then they all uh, gave us the news about two weeks ago i think it was last week actually that they could got trying to get his medicine straight and they'll see him in three months and then, then they'll make the decision um, if he's going to get a fibrillator. And I think why I was so frustrated because the doctor, other doctor told us that, that he needs it as soon as possible in a way because his heart is weaker and stuff like that. But also I was like, I have a timeline that I don't have a choice over. <laughs> So I was like, I don't need to be out of commission when my husband's out of commission also because that'd be a lot. That'd be a lot. So they say I see him in three months. So I've been kind of hormonal with that because I'm so not sad about it. I'm just more frustrated with it, you know. And when we do see, him, see them in three months, I'll be close to nine months pregnant. So, I have kids coming in and out of my house, so I might have to stop certain parts of the video. <laughs> so, so I might have to skip, like, stop the camera for here and there because I have kids coming in and out. Neighbor kids, it is what it is. Some days they're at my house, some days they're at another house, so it spends on the day to week. Um, but this past week. It's going to be a little different for the next few months for our family and for my husband and for me because it's going to take months most likely if not years On Tuesday, we didn't know it at the time. My husband just had a side effect of his eyes acting up, being like spots and stuff like that. And we just thought it was like him looking at a screen too much or um, his medicines playing with him a little bit. Because they have been messing with his medicine. Give him new medicines here now. But we didn't see the signs. Well, I physically didn't see the signs. Until Thursday. Because I worked 10 hours last Wednesday. But come to find out on Tuesday. When his eyes were messing up. My husband suffered a stroke. You wouldn't think for somebody in his late 30s to, 
I've heard many people say, yeah, it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of young people nowadays. It's crazy. But he suffered a stroke. And we didn't see the side effects real good until Thursday morning. Because we had to call 911. My mom came over here. I also knew the signs. My mom's a nurse. She knew the signs right away. And the way he, is, he was doing his foot and his arm. It's just. I was like yeah. He's, he had a stroke. Can't explain that. Like what he was going through. Like it, you just knew. So. He suffered a stroke. He went to the ER. And. That's when we found out he did have a stroke. Um, it has messed up his right side of his body. Um, he cannot see out his right eye. He cannot feel me doing this on his right cheek. He can smile. He, I know a lot of people say when you have a stroke, you droop a little bit on the side that you're weak on, but he can smile. Um, he can swallow, he can chew, he can speak, he can, go, he's got that part, thankfully. Um, the only problem now we're having, and I got a little emotional when I went to work today. I left a little early because I just, I just had to go home. I just wanted to be home. Um, so... I just wanted to be home. And I was kind of emotional earlier today. And like I said, my husband is a very private person. And he don't like his business out there. But in a way, I have to give a life update in a way to explain why videos are pushed a little bit and all of that. If I'm MIA or something, you know what's going on. It's like stuff going on. But also show awareness that it's not all day daisies out there. Some flowers and daisies. It's, it's, I know a lot of people are like struggling financially, and a lot of, I've said this in a previous YouTube video that YouTubers don't talk about that. But you can see the underline of them struggling. Like I want to say struggle, but like. They gotta count their pennies a little bit better, you know, or stuff like that. Or they gotta sell the house, or certain little things. It's like they're not gonna go straight out come and tell you we're financially having a problem. No, but you can see the other line thing. That's. Now we're not, so I'm trying to be a little bit more truthful in mine. I would say financially. We're struggling. I can say that now. We are struggling. I'm not going to get into what we're struggling with. I will do a video on that later to show that you ain't the only one out there who, you know, had to count pennies just to put gas in the car kind of thing. I mean, if we you know. But I also want to be realistic and stuff on my channel. So, I've been back and forth in the hospital with him. I'm trying to visit him once a day. I have the kids sometimes. Because where he is located in the hospital, I see you most of the time. It depends on what hospital you are, but my hospital, you know, I see you, kids are not allowed. Which sucks because my oldest one would love to go see his, her, her dad, and I know her dad would love to see her, but she can't see him right now, and it's I will say that sucks. So it's harder for me to go up there a lot more because one I'm trying to save the gas, but two I have the girls and. I know my mom will watch him if I had to go back to the hospital or something like that. But it's more of a... I'm trying to be there for my girls and stay close and stuff like that. So, that's my problem. Because 
oof, it's a lot. It's a lot. So he's been in the hospital. Um, yesterday was all right. He did physical therapy. He's supposed to be doing physical therapy every day, but his mind is very confused right now still that I, if I asked him a question, if he had physical therapy, somewhat can't remember. So I can't really, sadly, I can't rely on him, you know, to give me the answer. I really need a nurse or a doctor to tell me what's physical therapy or we even done it today or kind of thing, you know. Um, he did tell me what he had for lunch, well, one part of his lunch. So, but even the nurse said yesterday, ask questions and stuff like that. See what he says, keep his mind going. Um, yesterday he did good lifting for the um, doctor, like lifting his leg, lifting his arm. He's got some strength, but he don't have much strength. So that's, I, to me, I think that's a good sign that he had somewhat strength in his arms and his hands and his leg. Didn't have none at all. I'll, I'll put a lot of that. At least we have a little bit of strength. I know it's, we got to do rehab to get it to another point. Um, But mentally and his eyesight, I don't know what to do with that. I really don't. Like, he can't see out his right eye. And then we discuss... What can he see out of his left eye? Um. Sorry, I'm tired. He can't. He. We discussed his left eye, and for a man there, he's like, I can't see nothing. I see spots. I, I see just shapes and stuff. And then we talked about it, and I said, if I go back far enough, he could see me good. If I'm like close, like right here in this camera and stuff, he can't see me. He sees the shape of me. So I was like, okay, that's a good sign. That's a blessing. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take little things, okay? Um, so he's far side he can see, near side he can't. So I feel like he probably need glasses. But it'll probably take time for his eyes to heal up because he probably damaged that part of his brain. You know, um, the other thing we need to work on is memory. We, I ask him questions. I'm like, do you know who I am? Do you? And I hate it because I'm like, I even, I, I even told him, I was like, I know you hate me asking this because you, you probably feel like, feel like hopeless. Or you feel like, I'm like I feel like, not dependent, but uh, I um, he said it actually, um, a burden and stuff like that. Um, when I ask him crazy questions like that, and I'm like, we need to know what you know and what you don't know. I mean, it's gonna take time for that to be healed too. It just really got me real good when he couldn't remember the girl's name. That got me real good. I was like, that's just sad. And he got emotional too. Cause he's like, I can't remember my little girl. <laughs> and that's when I think he went down like a depression hole right after that. Cause it's like, You're like, I feel like a burden. <laughs> and all that, and then... It's like, you just need to get rid of my truck because I can't see. <laughs> and this and that. And I'm probably like, no. Like, my husband has this philosophy. <laughs> you always need a truck because you never know what you might need to haul. So I kind of reminded him of that because I was like, you know that philosophy you always told me? You always need a truck. No matter what, you always need a truck. 
Um, so I was like, I'm gonna get rid of your truck. I'm gonna get rid of the kayak he has on the back of it that he just recently bought like two months ago, two and a half months ago. And I was like, we're gonna get your strength up and you're gonna go kayaking again. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> um, I'll probably have to move it though. Cause if I leave it sitting the way it's sitting, it's just gonna, yeah. <laughs> Um, but and I think my dad like I don't I tell you, I put it like this today was not a good day mentally I will say that for him but I know it's common to go down a rabbit hole like that so we just have to take one day at a time um my husband does not like to burden anybody he don't like to, he's a very secretive person also he's like he don't like telling his family about his problems this time around i'm like I tell some of his family, especially the ones that he's in touch with. I'm not telling the people who that don't get in touch with him or he don't get in touch with them. I'm not going to tell them. Because if you ain't around when he's healthy, I don't want you around when he's sick. Kind of like, you know what I mean? You know how some families are. So, I did text a few family members. I did text his old boss. If you've been around, he had to stop working. I don't know if I said anything about that. But he had to stop working because originally his heart wasn't no better. He, we, it's just safety reasons. He had to stop working and his, both of his daughters, his cardio and his, his regular daughter, both said he needs to go on disability and all that fun stuff. And if you know anything about the government, disability just takes their sweet time. I do not know why they do. Somebody comment below and let me know why they are like that. But... But why are disability like why does it take forever? Like I have to go jump through hoops and get a lawyer or this and that just to move, make your butt do your job. I don't understand that. Maybe I really don't. <laughs> Somebody explain that to me. I really don't. But um maybe it's our state thing. I don't know. But all I hear most of the time is you gotta jump through hoops just to get disability. Um, had them coming in. <laughs> but, uh, so we've been dealing with that. Now we just, I kind of hate when they did come in and then I lose my train of thought. I'm pregnant. I lose my train of thought a lot. <laughs> I told my mother the other day, I was like, oh my gosh. My pregnancy brain is so much worse. Whoa, whoa. Very worse. Like, the other day I found out I left, I forgot a bill. It was, thank God it was a simple bill, like with water. I was like, I thought I paid that. I swear I paid that. It was funny. <laughs> but it got paid though. But like. <laughs> that was, uh, mm. <laughs> that was funny. So my partner said brain has been cray cray. Mm -mm. So. But yeah. So the day I went before I went to work, I should have never done that. I should have just went after work or something. Cause I was emotional before I went into work, and I left work a little early, like I said at the beginning of the video. But I think what got me most, I'm not gonna say what he said or this and that. It's nothing bad. It's something I hate for nothing like that. No, it's just. His friends, his people he knows that he's very he's close to, his family that he's actually close to, and some of my family, heck, my some of my church members, heck, go for it. I need everybody else to step up their game. I can only do much as his wife. I can, I go up there every day just to see how he is. I know he communicates with me better than anybody, but I need them to up their game. It got me sad because it's like, usually, this is how it works. Usually, 
I take care of everything my own and everything else. I try to be independent, but this time around, I really, it's nothing that I need somebody physically to help me or here and there. It's not even that. It's that I need them to up their game and go visit him. Not even bring him food. Don't bring me food. Don't bring nothing like that. Not, nothing that, I, that you have to do extra. The only thing you got to do is get in your car and go visit him. That is all I've all I ask for anybody because I think what it is he's up there by himself and I'm the only one coming and I can only come there at least once a day at this moment when the girls go back to school Monday I can go back up there and at least go try to go up there twice a day go there in the morning try to get in touch with his doctor and then come later in the afternoon and just hang out with him and then go get the kids but right now on the weekends and they had a half a day Friday. It's been hard these past two days to get up there. So I'll text. He, I have his phone because he can't see on it. So I've been texting people off his phone like his co-worker that he was going fishing with here and there. And they were actually coming buddy buddy. His old boss that I know he had a good relationship to. I've even texted his aunt. I know his aunt's going to get in touch with his dad. So I was like, y'all need to go visit him. My mother's gonna go tomorrow and go visit him. So, at least I know it's gonna be at least a handful of people going tomorrow. But I hope somebody went today. You know? So, that's the way I'm looking at it. Hopefully, I'm hoping somebody went up today. I feel like somebody probably did go up today. It's just, I don't know who. So. But, it's been an eventful year for 2024 for his health. And, I'm going to try my best to stay on top of my videos. I have videos in my mind that I need to do anyway with the comments of my pregnancy and get nesting and talk about my journey with my C-sections and this and that. I'm going to do those in the future. Um... But if I can't do a lot of cleaning videos in the future, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna still try. Um, I've been having problems with my heart rate. I do wear my Fitbit a lot more than I usually are usually do because my heart rate has gotten up high that I I know pregnancy you gotta catch your breath anyway, you gotta think about it because all the all your organs and all your getting pushed around, so but I feel like it's a little different this time. I've been trying to take it easy, but my heart rate's been getting up to. Depends on what I do. It depends on what I do. But this morning it was kind of bad, and it was. I didn't even make, I see my husband yet. So my emotion. You can't say it's my emotions or my stress. It ain't even that. I got up. I got myself to eat something. I got the girls situated. My oldest don't like to eat breakfast. My youngest does. So I got them going. And then I was like. But it was like. I was doing a little bit of chores. Like I started the laundry. I cleaned up my room a little bit. I haven't finished cleaning my room. We'll do that the rest of the day. I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to put something on the TV. And just start cleaning my room. At least I started one room. <laughs> And then, um, I told the girls to get all the dishes out around the house. Just look around the house. You see a cup, fork, or spoon, or something, whatever. Put it in the sink. I'm going to start dishwasher because I was like, bleh. Um, that dishwasher hasn't been started in days. It's been had dirty dishes in it, too, for days. So, I was like, I got to get this dishwasher going. So, let's get all the dishes together. By the time I did all that... My heartbeat was like 145 to 148. And I'm not even doing that much. I was doing the bare minimum, which is walking around, doing the laundry, and loading that up. And then I got to my mom's, and I sat there for a second. And then I got dressed, and then I went to my mom's to drop off my youngest one. My oldest one wanted to stay with the neighbors. And play with them. 
I said, I'm going to be gone for hours, not something like short. And they found it. And so she went to my mom, the only one with my mom, and I was just talking to her. And I knew this, I was having a hard time breathing. Like, I'm not, not like I'm breathing, but it's not like a, not like that. It's like, I'm talking and I'm like, I know my heart beats up and stuff like that kind of thing. And I was like, I looked at my watch and it was 150. I was like, I was like, I told my mom, I, was like, I gotta sit down. I gotta sit down, I gotta sit down, I gotta sit down. <laughs> and my mom asked me what it was and she's like, put your feet up. <laughs> I was like, oh Lord, this one was a nurse. So she, from the heart rate, I tell her, and then I went to work, I did it up to 130 to 35 to 40. But I try to take it easy, but my mama has this feeling I'm going to be on bed rest. Or on light duty or something, but she has this feeling I'm going to be bed rest more. And I'm over here like, I don't have time to be I, I know I'll do anything to keep this baby healthy. I have said that many times. But... I really don't have time to be on bed rest. I even told my mom that I was like, I don't have time to be on bed rest. He's gonna go to rehab in, in 30 minutes away. I gotta at least visit him once, so we, once a day or every other day. I got kids, I got two of them. I need to work. They still have their activities right now. I still gotta go grocery shopping. I still got two dogs at the house. I still. They won't get so sad because I need to set up this baby stuff. That's what it gives me the most is that. I got some of the baby stuff on, but I still gotta pull out a tote at the our building thing and um start washing baby clothes but i still gotta set up like it kind of made me cry a little bit because this my husband had his trophies i'm like i was gonna put my crib together <laughs> i'm not trying to cry too much on here but my emotions are just crazy pushing me hormonal but you also gotta think about the scenario like I can't afford, I can't be on bed rest. Even if I could afford to be on bed rest, I can't be on bed rest. The timing will suck, you know? <laughs> the timing will majorly suck if I went on bed rest. <laughs> Cause I'm like, my husband's in rehab for the work on him to be able to be physically here for the birth. I'm like, I still gotta put a crib together. I still gotta rearrange my oldest daughter. I got it halfway there. It's just, I need somebody to help me move the furniture and then put the crib up. I still gotta put stuff baby-wise up and get it situated and stuff like that. Which I know that won't take long. It's just, I gotta get this baby clothes done and then I gotta find out where I'm gonna put the baby clothes. <laughs> That's been a... <laughs> And then I cried a little bit this morning because I was like, sadly to say, this baby does not have a name. And I can't really ask my husband, what do you want to name this child? Because all the stuff's going on in his brain, I should, it's just not, not the perfect time. I'm tempted to just name this child myself. But it's hard naming a kid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I think I get emotional is because I have so much stuff to do baby wise. I do not have time to be on bed rest. But if I keep this baby healthy and keep me healthy, I will do it. I will do it. It's just like I just don't have time for it. But I will do it. You know? I know my mom will help me as much as possible financially until we get 
you know, the logistics done. Especially if I go on bed rest. But we don't know that yet. We're still waiting on a phone call. Because I got referral to a heart doctor. It's just... Question is when they're going to make my appointment. So. But. Yes. So I hope. <laughs> I know you probably enjoyed this video too much. But. I'm going to say hope you enjoyed the emotions. I went through. No. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. No. But I hope you enjoy the realness. And the role of your family getting hit from different places of health wise. Because like I said in a previous video, we were doing well financially. We weren't like going crazy and all like that. We were comfortable. We got the basic bills paid and everything else and been able to go out to eat at least once a week and stuff like that. That was fine with me. Able to fill up my our cars with our gas and stuff. Able to go places. Even if it's going to a to our kids stuff and stuff like that. So I like to be real on here, but I also wanted to give you a good life update right now. Because we have so many moving parts right now with his his help and what just hit him like crazy. Which we would never, was not even expecting. We dealing with that. And get him straight. Me being hormonal. <laughs> and my health issues now. <sighs> you know. I told my husband, I was like. It's been a weird year for his health. But I put it like this. I'm going to end this video because my camera is going to die soon probably. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Watch out for COVID. Because COVID likes to kick your butt in the, It will kick your butt in the, and you know what. Because that's what happened to my husband. He got COVID in December. And ever since then, his heart's been messed up. And now he had a stroke. So, stay healthy. Stay healthy. Be safe, though. Um, you never know. My heart problems probably... You know what? I should ask my mother that. My heart problems probably came from... COVID too because I had COVID about two to three years ago and that was after I had my second like a few years after my second so it's pretty to see it might be a little different because I did have COVID um stuff like that but also it could be because I'm a little older I was in my 20s with my two girls I'm in my 30s <laughs> my mid 30s with this one, so you also gotta look at that age. Also, I'm not the healthiest person in the world. I'm kinda big. I'm chunky. <laughs> I'm in mean, the man of cars, cars. He's big. He's chunky. <laughs> Same. <laughs> not gonna even lie. Same. <laughs> so, but I don't eat crazy like you would think for my weight. This is what you eat. Okay. I know I probably popped about 18 minutes. I know it says 10 minutes on this thing because I had to keep on clicking off. But um, I just want to give you a life update of what in the heck is going on in our crazy life right over here. Our lives are very, 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 very crazy right now when it comes to health and getting everything straight. But I want to update you the next video, next video of the day in life. That video is was filmed before this one so he 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 was having a stroke and everything hasn't happened yet so heads up um but after that video i'm gonna start filming it again and it was a day on so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm trying to open my mail <laughs> and i will see y'all my next video which probably i don't know yet i cling with me um a day of life or something like that but i just want to give this live update so you know why there weren't no videos last week but not all that tell you what's going on in our lives right now because it's, it's it's crazy it's crazy so 
stay healthy stay safe i'm not gonna ask you to like this video because this is really just a video for you guys to see the rawness of our lives but not all that to tell you what's really going on so but i'll see you guys next time bye guys